Hey, what's up, Transtastic? It's Monday, it's Reed, and this week we are talking about whether or not binding is dangerous. So I'm subbing for Emil today. He's going to be posting on Sunday, my regular day, but I'm gonna kick off the week, so it's pretty cool. I've never kicked off the week before. All right, so first of all, it's just worth noting that today I am four days post-op hysterectomy. Total hysterectomy, everything, everything's gone. If you want to hear about any of that, um, I'll leave the link below. I literally just posted a video on my channel talking about my hysterectomy experience, and I have a couple of videos up as well uh, from pre-histo just talking about like my mental state and, and just the technicalities of the consult and everything like that. So if you wanna see that, um, again, the link to my channel will be below and I literally just posted the video now, so go check it out. Okay, so is binding dangerous? Yes, but also no. Binding can absolutely be dangerous if you're not doing it correctly. There are safe ways to bind and there are not safe ways to bind. And I partook, I partake, I took part in both ways. So when I started binding, I my first ever binder was this like zip up tank that went like to here. It really wasn't that effective. Um, it was from Tea Kingdom and that's not to knock Tea Kingdom at all, but it just, um, I, I don't think the size was right. It just really wasn't effective. So then a friend of mine gave me his binder and it was an underworks, it wasn't a tri-top. It was, it was the one that was a tank top, but it went all the way down. Like it covered your hips and everything. So, but that was a size too big for me. So. I wore that one and then I wore the Tea Kingdom one on top of it. So that's a good example of not safe binding, double binding. Don't do that. It hurts your ribs. It's not good for your chest. And I know that in the moment you just want to be as flat as possible. It's not worth the damage to your body long term because when it came about, when top surgery came about for me, I was like on the borderline of, of really not doing well with my ribs and everything. Another unsafe binding thing is ace bandages. I know that a lot of people who can't afford binders or don't have access to binders bind with ace bandages and that again also is not good. Um, it doesn't give your chest the like support that it needs. It hurts your ribs. This all comes down to like bruising in your ribs and everything like that. So um, it's just that that is not safe. Another one is taping. I don't really know too much about taping. Um, I don't think a lot of people were taping back when I was binding. I will be five years post-op um, in August, so I uh, it was a long time ago that I was binding, and I think taping was more used for like drag, um, but people have made it into like a mainstream binder, and I, again, I don't really know much about it and its safety, but I've heard that it's not very good for you, um, and especially for your skin, like it just makes it all raw and tender and it can like rip your skin, I don't know. So uh, that I also would not recommend. Also, if you do have the correct type of binder, um, but you're binding for too long, that's also dangerous. So my advice to you is to, to find a company that you like. There are a lot of companies out there who are making binders now, a lot more than was available when I was binding. Find a company that you like and that has reliable products and that other people have given good reviews and that people similar to your body type have found um, that are good for binding. And then once you find a company, just try whatever binder works for you. Make sure though, number one thing is that it's sized correctly. And I know that it might be tempting to go a size smaller to get that extra flatness, but it's really, really not good for your body. And I know that this is all easier said than done. I understand that. I used to watch videos when I was binding about binders and people would tell me about the safety and don't wear them too long and I was like, oh, well, you know, screw that because I want to be as flat as long as possible throughout the day and as flat as possible. It was really difficult for me to like adopt that advice, but it only takes one injury before you're like, oh crap, like, okay, this is actually a thing and it's excruciating. It's really awful. And what sucks about being injured from binding is that you can't bind often for months on end. And the dysphoria from that is way worse than the dysphoria from binding with like maybe a size up or um, you know binding with your correct size but you're so big chested that like it's not flat enough. And I'm the type of person who I need to learn through my mistakes. I can't learn through other people's mistakes. So I am grateful that I was able to get top surgery when I was because it was not going down a good road for me. But that's what I would recommend. Make sure it's sized correctly. Read reviews, especially about people your own body type because different companies and different binders and different size binders can work differently for people depending on how big or small their body is and how big or small their chest is. The last thing I wanna say is that trans people and non-binary people and anyone who binds 
is going to be there to support you for the most part in your binding endeavors. I have encountered a lot of cis people and I did encounter a lot of cis people back when I was binding all the time that told me why you have to do that and uh, it's dangerous and it's gonna hurt you. And it just is so ignorant, such an ignorant thing to say, just that, oh, it's dangerous, so don't do it. Like, maybe you'll get surgery soon enough. Like, it's just so ignorant and, and just, you cannot even imagine, you know, what it's like for us to to need this, to need to buy. Do you think that I would want to hurt myself for like 10 hours a day every day? No, I, I wouldn't do that if I didn't have a choice, but like, I didn't have a choice. I, I needed it, I needed to bind to feel like me, and even then, it was like borderline. So yeah, that's all I have to say about binding. Um, just be safe about it, and if you have any questions about it, there are so many groups like on Facebook and stuff, and just, just post and, and just ask um, whether or not it's safe to do certain things or, or whatnot, or post in the comments below, definitely I'll respond to you guys, all of the knowledge that I have. Also on that topic, um, I'm, I've been saying this for months, but I'm going to be starting a binder giveaway. I was so busy before my histo, and um, it, it's, I've been going through a lot recently, um, but I am going to start up a binder giveaway on my personal channel. So again, uh, the link will be below, and subscribe to me, and stay tuned for a video in the next couple weeks. I'm for finalizing the form right now that I'm gonna have you guys fill out for that, so it's in its final stages, and um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week on Sunday. Bye.